alaikum. Welcome to this new video. Uh, here we uh, will present multiple choice questions about pharmacodynamics with answers. And let us see the first question. Choose the correct and best answer. What parameters would the nurse use to determine whether the average dose of medication is effective for a patient? Select all that apply. There are more than one answer. The first option, physical examination. Second option, vital signs. Third option, laboratory values. Uh, third option and fourth option, dosage time and finally efficacy. The best answer for these questions is option one, two, three, and five. Let's to see why. One of the critical determinants of the effectiveness of drug therapy is physical examination. Nurses will utilize assessment skills to ascertain whether the drug is being effective. In many cases, a patient's vital signs may indicate the effectiveness of drugs such as decreasing body temperature, change in blood pressure and pulse, or improved respiratory status. The effects of many drugs are monitored by diagnostic laboratory values such as light blood, cell counts, cultures, and various electrolyte values. Efficacy is the term that describes the ability of drug to produce the desired therapeutic effect. While option 4 is incorrect, the dosage time does not directly evaluate the effectiveness of drug therapy. Second question. The nurse knows that a drug with a high therapeutic index is. The first option probably safe. Second option often dangerous. Third option frequently risky. And the last option most likely effective. The best answer for this question is number one. The therapeutic index is the ratio between the therapeutic dose of drug and the toxic dose and is used as a measure of the relative safety of drug. The higher the therapeutic index is the safer the drug. While options two, three, and four are incorrect, a drug may be labeled dangerous for the many reasons other than the therapeutic index, including potential for abuse. The higher the therapeutic index is, the less risk of drug toxicity. A high degree of safety does not signify the degree of effectiveness. The third question, while reviewing a drug manufacturer's packaging chart, the NIAS reads about the dose response curve. The purpose of, of the dose response curve is to illustrate the relationship between the first option, the amount of drug administered and the degree of response it produces. Second option, the prevalence of toxic effects in a given population. Third option, the degree of response and the total duration of action of the drug. And the fourth option, the peak serum drug level when half of the dose is administered. The correct answer is the option number one. A dose response curve is a graphic representation that shows the relation between the amount of drug administered and the extent of response it produces. While options two, three, and four are incorrect, a dose response curve does not illustrate the toxic effects related to the drug of any specific population or graphically present the duration of action of drug. Serum drug levels must be measured to determine the peak serum drug level. It's unique to each patient and the dose response curve only represents a maximum toxic dose level. Now the fourth question, a research nurse is discussing the TD50 of the drug with the other members of the investigation team. 
on which of the following would the discussion focus would the discussion focus on effectiveness or on dose response or receptor subtypes or finally on toxicity? The correct answer is option four. TD50 measures the median toxicity dose. This information indicates the dose that will produce a given toxicity in 50% of a group of patients. While options 1, 2, and 3 are incorrect, effectiveness dose response and receptor subtypes are not represented by the TD50 level. The fifth question, when considering a pharmacodynamic principles for patient structure of the nurse is aware that affinity for receptor is most closely associated with drugs, potency, or drugs efficacy, or drugs metabolism, or drugs first pass effect. The correct answer is option number one, potency. Potency is a reflection drug's ability to bind to a receptor. While options 2, 3, and 4 are incorrect, efficacy and the affinity of drug to bind to a receptor are separate variables from potency. Metabolism is a function of pharmacokinetics, not pharmacodynamics. First pass effect is a phenomenon that occurs during internal absorption and does not affect drug affinity. The last question, please comment your answer. I will be happy to see your answers in the comments. A patient with myasthenia graphis has been receiving neostigmine. It's a cholinergic agonist for the past two years. The nurse is ready to administer benz benzotropine, cholinergic antagonist. Which result? will likely occur when these drugs are combined. First option, neostigmine will accept a greater effect, or neostigmine will accept a lesser effect, or neostigmine will not be affected by the administration of benzotropine. And the last option, neostigmine will first accept a greater effect, followed by a lesser effect. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video and see you in the next video.